everyone. Uh, if you are a regular watcher of Angelina's videos, then you probably have seen me once or twice and more than likely heard her yell camera guy at me on many occasions. Um, I just wanted to kind of let you know what I'm about to show you. Uh, this was one of the few videos that I edited without Angelina being around. Um, it was a garden that she and I started two years ago with the plan to finish it this spring. Unfortunately, we weren't able to. So I went about finishing it based on a lot of the stuff that she wanted to do. I added in a few of my own things. Um, but it's going to be kind of like a where it started to where it is now. Um, originally, I was going to do a whole bunch of, you know, parts. So if you hear me saying, you know, part two, part three, just ignore that. Uh, I decided it was going to be silly to try to do a whole bunch of one minute videos and post them. So this will be the whole thing. You'll see front to back, side to side, everything. Um, at the end, by all means, comment on it. Let us know what you think. Um, if you have suggestions on things to add, please feel free. Um, but I hope you guys enjoy it and, and uh, sit back, watch, and relax. Here it is. This was stuff that we all planted roughly, I don't know, two years ago. It was all baby stuff. Um, this was the start of it, though. You know, the borders is eventually going to get ripped out, and I came to the realization we made a minor mistake. <laughs> we put these right next to each other, so i got to move one of them. But, if we come back here, <clears throat> you will see where it's going. This whole entire front yard will soon be converted to the garden that she kind of always wanted, and I kind of wanted to do also. This being her tree that we planted on the anniversary of the day she was diagnosed. Um, there's some stuff that I already planted, but I'll, I'll explain the, uh, the story behind it once this is all done. And finally, the pond that I have been hand digging now for three, four days it's not, there's a massive tree stump under there that I thought was removed and apparently wasn't so now I'm taking it out by hand uh, anyway that's all for now and I will uh, update you guys later alright so here's a partial update the pond liner is in and uh, ignore all the cinder blocks that's going to be replaced with the river rock as soon as it gets delivered but somebody and I'm not going to I'm not going to name names Forgot to wash off the gravel before he, you know, put it in the pond. So now he, like an idiot, has to find a way to pump this out. And we'll do that today. Because, uh... <laughs> I forgot to wash the stupid <laughs> river rocks and everything. So now it's all in the bottom of the pond. Yay for me. Anyway, that's it for now. Talk to you later. <laughs> well, here is the pond with actual water in it. And it seems to be holding water. And it seems to be clearer since I cleaned out the junk. So we'll have to see what happens over the next couple of days. The liner did spring a leak in a small part, but it's at the top, so I sh should be able to just reseal it with some uh, some uh, flex tape, which should hold it in. All right, so quick update on the like the last one. It was too small, too shallow, not big enough for fish. So I pulled out the old liner, dug this down like another foot and a half, two feet. So now it's deep enough and wide enough for fish. Put in the new liner and uh, now I just have to finish it up and cover up all the brick and, you know, trim the liner up and straighten it out. And then uh, in the ever popular method of Angelina, by fish, and then we have to name every single fish that goes in the pond because I have never gotten anything that Angelina didn't name. Anyway, update you on the next posting. I just thought I'd show everyone. Angelina's giant flowers have started to bloom, so this would make her very happy. Anyway, that's it for now. What you were hoping for? As the final uh, touch. Okay. 
Sen cildin ya. Yeni yeni cildiniz mi mamma? So anyway. Uh, all right. Here's the tree at night that Danielle decorated today. Okay. Here is the final. You're going to notice that the shrubs kind of, or the boxwoods grew uh, immensely since I started this. And all of her little flowers. And her rose bushes blooming like crazy still. Even have a new flower on here, which I kind of wasn't expecting. And her roses. And the other rose bush that's growing like crazy. And then her tree that's growing like crazy. Everything's growing. And then finally, the pond, which is finally nice and clear after weeks and weeks and weeks of... But, oop, there's all the fish. And they're all just swimming around. Fishy, fishy. Oh, oh they all came over to say hi. And that is, uh, that right there, that's Jack Skellington. And then over here, you've got, can't really see the one. Oh, they're all moving now. But I'll, uh, I'm going to post all their names for you. Because it's too hard to keep up with them while they're shifting around. But there's her turtle spitter. And a bamboo one that I just happened to find. I mean, I gotta put some water in the pond because it looks like a lot of it's evaporated. And we haven't had rain. And her flamingo. And that's pretty much the whole thing right now. And it was all for this little munchkin girl. Because this is mostly her design. With a little bit of mine. But I hope y'all like it. Okay, so finally, just a quick explanation of how these flowers are laid out. That right there, when I, when I went and bought it, it was called an Angelina. I don't know why that's the name that was on the tag, but it's an Angelina, followed by the tiny diamond lily, followed by the rose. So what I have, every time I come out here, is I've got Angelina, the tiny diamond, Rose. And I figured that would make the most sense to put in the garden.